Give us a little bit of your law enforcement background. Well, I spent uh, 10 years with LA County Sheriff's Department and 19 and a half years with the United States Marshal Service. In the past uh, five years with the U.S. Marshal Service, I uh, hunted fugitives. So I was a criminal investigator. So you've had extensive years of, of law enforcement. Yes. And, and, and then, have you handled missing persons cases? Then after retiring, I specialized in, uh, as a private investigator, is uh, locating abducted or missing children, mostly involving uh, parents, custody, where one parent takes the child and out of state and so forth. So cases like this are not unfamiliar to you? No. Give us your thoughts, uh, I guess from the beginning of this case, when you started hearing about it and following it, uh, did any alarm bells go off in your head? The fact that it's a remote campground and the fact that Dior Jr. had cowboy boots on, it was too big for him. So he would walk out of them if he tried to run, particularly on rough terrain. And so what alarmed me was is that uh, when the search began, the search didn't take that long to begin once he was reported missing. Several people showed up for the initial search and uh, there was no cowboy boots found. There was no clothing found. And uh, that alarmed me that uh, with the number of people searching and he couldn't find anything, they couldn't find anything that would say that he was there. The search dogs, uh, cadaver dogs, as well as the search dogs couldn't find anything. They couldn't uh, be on scent and find anything. Uh, there were some wolf dens that were searched, uh, bear den was searched, and nothing was found. So this tells me that uh, he probably was not called off by an animal. And he couldn't have gone that far, uh, being two years old in that type of train. Uh, if he wa wandered off, he probably would have been found. So that's an army. Well, that sounds kind of fishy to me. I always like to think outside the box. And so that's why even uh, Sheriff Bowerman said that he uh, probably was not abducted, uh, but maybe a possibility. And so the, the Sheriff's Department and uh, Lemhi County, as well as Bonneville County, had to do their job. They initially, they suspect the parents. And I knew, knowing Dior personally from my association with before in Montpelier, that uh, I could never imagine him doing anything like that because he loved his son. That was his son. That was his blood. That was his heart. That was his life. That uh, the parents would not be involved in anything sinister. So you start looking at the other people involved who was at the campground. Look at the grandfather. The grandfather, uh, was in ill health on oxygen. The other gentleman who, Isaac, who was there, uh, he was a person of interest. So I think outside the box. So I think there has to be another possibility. And I'd rather think that I feel that he was abducted. Everything points to an abduction. Why wasn't an Amber Alert issued? Didn't fit the entire cr uh, criteria for an Amber Alert. There was no vehicle they could give. There's no mother or father or suspect that they can name as being with. So this is why it didn't fit the criteria. And don't get me wrong, the Sheriff's Office in Lemhi County did their very best. The search coordinator uh, was a good man. He had a prior law enforcement experience in Nevada before he coming up to Lemhi County. <clears throat> Excuse me. So these guys are, are seasoned veterans. And they want to find the boy. The whole end result was to find the boy. And so they're not going to do anything to uh, be counterproductive. But I just think that there has to be now, there's been yesterday, a month from the time he was missing, there has to be another scenario. And we have to look at other possibilities. So that's why I wanted hopefully to go nationwide. We have a nationwide telephone number for tips. I was hoping that people might uh, say, well, you know, the, the so-and-so couple didn't have a boy uh, last week. Now they have a, a boy. Where did the boy come from? That's unusual. Anything like that could be as a, as a good tip. You mentioned one of the first things law enforcement does is narrow in on if there may be potential suspects, the yes. parents, the grandfather, the, right. the friend, um, and, and thus far no suspects have been named. In the majority of cases is it, of abductions, is it normally somebody that knows the, the child or is it a stranger? Normally it could be a, a friend of a friend of the family. Like normally break-ins, uh, uh, house burglaries, as somebody has been there before, and then it's, but it's their friend is there. With, uh, with the oars, uh, mom and dad, <clears throat> of course, they're suspect. They think maybe they had a, there was an accident 
and they decided to cover the accident up because they couldn't explain the accident, so let's just bury the body and say he was abducted or he's just missing, we have no idea. That, that investigation was a zero. It, uh, there was no probability on that. So they want to do the people they have in hand first to investigate because sometimes there are sinister crimes that occur. Have the parents been completely cooperative with investigators? Absolutely. I've talked to Lemhi County deputies, I've talked to uh, uh, Bonneville County here in this jurisdiction, and they've been very cooperative, very forthright, nothing to hide. One of the things that uh, has really been maybe different with this case compared to a missing child four or five years ago is social media. And I don't know how closely you followed it, but there has been, you name a rumor, it's been there. How is that impacting the family and the investigation, does it? Well, it may not hurt the investigation, but it hurts the family especially when you're accusatory. And you say, well, I wouldn't have done that, or you know, if it was my kid, I wouldn't have put camouflage pants on him exactly, because it only hurts more. Those people are just agitators, just like Ferguson, Missouri, same thing, agitated. They want to agitate because nothing better to do instead of concentrating on what the real possibility may be and really helping. Now, when I was up in, uh, in Lemhi County, I uh, interviewed uh, people who were on the sex register list to clear them. Yeah. Were they cleared? They were cleared, yes. And uh, it is, I've, I've checked everything that could possibly be, uh, maybe duplication of what the sheriff did, and I try not to, uh, to impede an investigation, and I always tell the sheriff's office where I'm going to be and what I'm going to do, so if they have a problem with it, that they would tell me, let me know, particularly if they were working a particular theory. But it was fine, go ahead. And what have they been telling you? Have they been giving you the information? They didn't share exactly their investigative uh, results, but uh, all indications are we're, we're here to try to find a child. Why have the parents been so quiet? Of course, a few people out there in the social media have uh, accused them of doing things. And my advice to, uh, to uh, Dior and to Jessica was to cooperate, keep the hope, and I feel, I told him, I think your boy is probably still alive out there. It's better to think he's alive when somebody has him rather than, well, he's dead, but we don't know where the body is. Particularly, uh, you look into a mother's eyes with her children missing, that's real. And I don't think the parents did anything that any normal parents would be involved with going to a camping trip. I mean, everybody's pointing to, it was with the grandfather, I thought it was the parents, and that was here and there. Things happen. And I don't think anything was planned, that if anything sinister happened, this was just a possibility of somebody who was lurking in the shadows. Uh, as an example, we're trying to follow a lead at the stage stop. Uh, when they went into town, uh, the morning after they arrived, to make a few groceries up, they bought some french fries for Dior Jr. And there was a man who was staring at this little boy. And this made Jessica feel kind of eerie that this old man was staring at the boy. That's unusual. But I haven't found out what this person is yet. And this was up in Lemhi? Yes, up in Lemhi. They stopped for french fries? Yes. And there was an old man staring at their child? Just staring at the child. A lot of times, a person, an older person, a grandparent will stare at a child. But this kind of lends to possibly my theory, maybe this man, so that's my grandchild. Uh, my grandchild, uh, that's my grandson. Maybe because of a grandson that passed away years before. A lot of things happen. A lot of people will simulate uh, and see somebody that reminds them of somebody else. So if you were the lead investigator on this case, believing that there is an abduction, that he was abducted, where do you go from here? Well, hopefully, uh, counting on the media to uh, take the case up and take an interest in it and want to cooperate by uh, you know, broadcasting our nationwide uh, tip line that we just put into effect this morning and to uh, try to get the word out, take an interest, and uh, try to have the people out there be involved. A lot of good people out there. There's a lot of people out there who like to you know, stir it up and, and uh, you know, muddy the water uh, for no reason except just to do it. But there's a lot of good people up there that uh, will look and be surprised how many crimes are solved by a person just observing or hearing something and this is the tip of the iceberg that leads eventually to solving a crime. I honestly believe in my heart of hearts that uh, these are grieving parents and uh, I want to hope that they feel like I feel that somebody out there knows something. We just have to get the word out and bring Dior home.